everybody, it's me again. Um, today's uh, tutorial is going to be on Unintended by Muse. Um, I'm going to start out by saying that this is um, one of, well, actually probably the most difficult song that um, I've played so far. So um, it's definitely going to require at least two videos, if not um, more. Um, so apologies for that, but um, the complexity of it is um, such that uh, I can't um, imagine getting uh, all that needs to be told to you in, in just one video. Um, it's, just, it's just too difficult because I'm um, playing this one from Tab, um, which some of you, um, if you're familiar with playing um, the guitar, um, anyway may have have come across tab um but the, for those of you that haven't um it's uh it's definitely more complex when um it's played with songs such as this um because it's you, you're not just pl sticking with one um with one picking pattern on this song um it's it, it it's got a a sort of instrumental um introduction to it um and then as it sort of closes um at the end of the song um there's sort of changes to the the um uh, original chord shapes um that sort of end up with like add-ons they're sort of versions of um for example a minor um with with extra notes in um so it's it's quite a tricky song to play um there's uh, i think there's a slight change um in the uh middle section as well of the song so it's definitely not straightforward um so this first video um i think i'm going to focus on um the sort of main general um feel of the song um which to be honest if you if you didn't want to play uh such a, a difficult version um as the original um you could get away with playing this version all the way through the song um it just wouldn't have all the extra flourishes and um fiddly bits on it so um you can make your choice if you want to um just do that you can do that all the way through the song um so uh first of all i need to tell you what chords are in this song um, so the chords are E, B7, A minor, D, G and C. Now as I say there's variations of all these chords throughout. In fact even um, at the end when things change a little bit as I said um, we also get things like a an A minor slash G, um, an A minor slash F sharp, um, an F major, uh, what does that say? An F major eleven, and an E sus four. So um, <laughs> it's definitely not uh, not quite straightforward, um, but hopefully uh, this will teach you the main bulk of the song and um, you'll be able to get by with that for now. So I'll show you how to play each of the chords and then later um, in this video I'll show you how to um, finger pick the main um, part of the, the um, tune for this song. So um, to start off with we've got E so um, you want to put your second finger on the uh, second fret of the A string, so it's this one, and then you want to put your third finger directly below that on the second fret of the D string, and then your first finger goes on the first fret of the G string and you play all your 
notes for that one, or you can play all your notes, I should say, um, all your strings for that one. Um, as you may have looked at my other tutorials before, if you were to take this first finger off, then that would be E minor with just those two fingers on. Um, but as I say, this one's the E major chord, so that's how you play that. Um, then for B7, um, you want to put your first finger on um, the string just above where you just had it. So it's on the first fret of the D string and then your second finger wants to go on the second fret of the A string again. Your third finger goes on the second fret of your G string and then your little finger goes on your top E string on the second fret and you don't play your bottom E string with B7 so that sounds like this and then you've got your A minor chord next so for that you want to put your first finger on the first fret of your B string then your second finger goes on the second fret of your D string and your third finger goes just below that on the second fret of your G string and once again for A minor you don't play your um, bottom E string so together sounds like that and then your D shape I should say before I forget um, that in the video um, of my performance for um, unintended um, I play with my capo on the third fret um, the original doesn't have a capo on at all um, but uh, I feel, felt like moving it up because um, there's some quite uh, low notes in there um, and I tend to hit, sing in the higher register so um, I mo moved it up onto capo 3 so obviously you can um, choose to have a capo or not um, depending on um, where your vocal register is um, but all these shapes will be exactly the same um, it just uh, might not actually be technically um, E or B7 um, as with with my version so um, we did A minor there and then um, for your uh, D chord you want to put um, your first finger on the second fret of your G string then your second finger goes directly underneath that two strings away so on the top E string on the second fret and then your third finger goes to make a tr sort of triangle shape um, by going on the third fret of the B string and for that you just want to play your top four strings for your D shape. Um, then on my version um, I'm using a, a tab that's been tabbed by somebody called Andrew Biles um, who's uh, put it, his version up on um, Ultimate Guitar um, and on his version he's got um, G5 um, which is a slightly different chord to an ordinary G um, but I've chosen not to play G5 and just to play ordinary G so in that case what I'm playing is uh, for your G chord is your second finger goes on your second fret of 
mm. your um, A string. Then your third finger goes on the um, third fret of your bottom E. And then your little finger goes on your third fret of your top E. So you play all the strings for G. And then uh, finally you've got your C chord. Um, so for that you want to put your first finger on the first fret of um, your B string. Then your second finger wants to go on your second fret of your D string and then your third finger wants to go on the third fret of the A string and for that you don't play your bottom E string. So that's your C chord. So as I say, those are the chords that are played most of the way through, um, not all of the way through. Um, so just be aware that um, there are a few different um, sections to this song. Um, the end section is, is quite a different kettle of fish um, and it's kind of... Um, it's kind of where the ooze come um, at the end, so you could uh, technically choose to ignore the ooze in uh, this song and um, just make your own version of it really if you if you found that um, too tricky. Um, but we're not going to cover that in this particular um, section of video. Um, I'll do that on the so with regards to um, picking patterns um, for this song, um, this is going to be just the main um, picking pattern that's used through most of the song. Um, so I'm sorry if this is a bit confusing. Um, so if you take your E chord, which is the chord that is used most um, throughout the song really, um, Sometimes uh, you even play um, this picking pattern on E um, three times in a row, um, uh, which tends to be sort of, it's almost like um, taking a breath in, in the song. So between, um, between uh, different sections of the verses, um, that's where they tend to have uh, more than one um, uh, e round played um, and again on the lead into the chorus um, I think you play uh, two E's and then the E starts off um, the chorus section so um, you've got your E shape on um, and then um, as I've said in my other videos um, what you tend to do or what I tend to do rather is that I use my uh, thumb to pluck the bottom three strings and move between them depending on which chord I'm playing. Um, as I said, you know, not all chords um, will allow you to play all of the strings, so um, that that's dependent on the chord. Um, and then your three fingers here want to play the top three strings so they will always play the same string um, in my tutorials anyway um, so you will always play your G string with your first finger you will always play your G uh, your B string with your second finger and always play your top E string with your third finger so um, the picking pattern goes, um, you pre um, use your thumb for the uh, bottom E string on your E shape and then you use it again 
your you go from your thumb to uh, on the bottom E to your thumb on the D string and then your second finger plays your um, plays your B string and then you go back up to your G string with your first finger and then to your top E string with your third finger and then back to your B string with your second finger back to your G string with your first finger back to your D string with um, your thumb and then by the time you've got to the end of that then you will move on to your A minor shape um, which then you play your thumb on the A sh uh, on the A chord uh, A string rather and then your thumb goes to the D string so A D and then um, the same pattern again so you go back to your B string with your second finger and then up to your um, G string with your first finger then to your top E string with your third finger and then to your um, second finger on um, on the B string and then uh, your first finger goes to the G string again and then your thumb back at the D string so really with all the chords we're playing playing the same um, picking pattern um, most of the way through um, but what's changing is where the thumb goes but it it will always go from whichever one it is to to the um, D string again um, but so when we get to the D chord um, you will play um, your D string with your thumb and then you'll play your um, G string with your first finger and then your B string with your second finger and then back to your um, G string with your first finger and then to your top uh, G string, uh, top E string with your um, third finger and then back to your second finger on the uh, B string back to your first finger on the G string and back to um, the uh, D string again with your thumb so so far um, those chords should sound like this from one to the next so we've got E A minor D and then after your D you go on to your G and with your G you play exactly the same strings as you did with your E chord so you want to use your thumb for the bottom E string and then your thumb to the D string and then your second finger to your B string your first finger to your G string your third finger to your top E 
and then back to your uh, second finger on your B string back to your first finger on the G string and back to the thumb on the D string again and then back to your C chord which um, you will start with your thumb on the um, on the uh, A string, <laughs> excuse me, on the A string, and then on the uh, on the D string, and then you use your second finger to play the B string, first finger on the G string, third finger on your top E, back to your second finger on the B string, back to your first finger on the uh, G string and back to your thumb on the, um, your thumb on the um, D string. <laughs> um, and then from there you move on to your B7 chord so with your B7 shape in place then your thumb plays the uh, A string then the D string and then your second finger plays the B string your first finger plays the G string your third finger plays the top E string back to your second finger on the um, on the B string back to your first finger on the G string and uh, then back to your D string and uh, it says here back to your um, G string again, and then you go onto onto your E chord again from there. So those um, chords all together should sound like this. too much further because it starts getting a bit um, complicated. Um, that extra note that I went back to there, your G on the B7, um, I don't think I actually play that when I when I play this song. Um, so you don't always have to um, stick rigidly to these things. Um, I just play um, as near as I can get it. Um, so uh, hopefully um, this video will help you get so far on. Um, the lead into the chorus um, goes slightly differently again. Um, I'll just show you that in this video to round us off. So um, the lead into the chorus is on your E um, shape and your thumb plays 
the uh, bottom E followed by the D and then followed by your G with your first finger followed by your B with your second finger back to G with your first finger and then up to top E with your third finger back to B with your second finger back to G with your first finger back to uh, D with your thumb back to G again with your first finger then back to your bottom E then to your D with your thumb and then to your uh, second finger on the um, B string and then your first finger on the G string third finger on your top E second finger on your B again first finger back to the G and thumb back to the D string again and so all together that sounds like this and then it leads on into the chorus which then you're still on your E chord for that and you just play the um, original pattern that I showed you. Um, so good luck guys, hope that helps um, play the largest part of um, this song um, and uh, don't forget if you like my videos please can you give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button it just helps my channel and uh, helps me to keep bringing you um, videos. So thank you. Bye.